Hey guys, and welcome back to Urban Strike. Actually, had to think for a second there. So, back inside the large uh, oil rig. Now, this mission is the first of the on ground, uh, on ground, on yeah, on ground missions, ground assault missions. There we go. Keep up, Titan. Fuck's sake, lad. Um, and. I never used to really like these as a kid because they were quite different and they're actually like if you don't know what you're doing they're very very challenging very challenging uh, we only have missiles and machine gun bullets our ammo goes through really freaking quick however you can kind of snipe most enemies the enemies are pretty stupid you also only have 200 points of armor which is not a lot of armor let me tell you that so we need to be a bit sneaky and a bit creepy where we can now our first mission is the surveillance gun cams. Knock out the four machine gun surveillance cameras installations. These cameras not only alert the area of your presence, but they're also deadly. They are actually pretty damn deadly. Now, we need to be a sneaky sneak. Luckily, being on foot, we don't actually require fuel. Um, but we... Oh, God. Enemies will still spawn. Luckily, enemies are weak, and they don't do a lot of damage to us. Five points of damage per hit, I think. So it's not too bad. Um, yeah, we only have ammo and armor to worry about. We don't have to worry about fuel, which is quite nice. Um, not sure how they would have done it. There's the gun camera there. You can just about see it off into the distance. They don't take a lot of damage, but they take enough, if that makes sense. You can see these goons running left and right. Also, you need to be careful when it comes to picking up items, because the radius um, that you can collect items with on foot is pretty big. Uh, we have, yeah, we already chewed through a quarter of our machine gun ammo already. Look how close. There we go. Yeah, I'll use that as a demonstration. You really want to be careful because you can pick up ammo and shit um, very easily uh, when you don't want to. Anyway, let's continue. Let's kill these blue guys. I'm blue, I believe to die. Uh, I better not get into that. Right, anyway, let's open up as many barrels and things as possible because there is a large supply of items hidden around. Now look, we have some more of these F-29s hidden in here. Destroy enemy fighter jets. Destroying the planes getting ready for takeoff. They must be stopped before they can begin an offshore attack run. They really are worried about being bombed, aren't they? Well, that's okay. Luckily, we can make pretty much short work of these with our uh, machine gun. These are not very durable fighters, I guess. Kind of look cool, though. They look more like something out of Colony Wars than um, <laughs> a strike game, to be fair. But hey, you know, it was the 90s. It was a wild time. Um, an explosion of creativity, if you will. Anyway, let's keep creeping on. Now, you'll notice, hear the footsteps. If I pause the game and go into the map screen, the footsteps kind of disappear for a while. Or They, they sometimes do. I don't know why it's not actually doing it there. That's really freaking strange. Hey, sneaky bastard. They will try and creep up on you, so be careful. Now, what else have we got? We've got one more plane to destroy. And the gun cameras are still active. Need to be really careful. Uh, much harder to... Wow. Yeah, it is harder to control than the helicopter. Um, it doesn't control remotely like the helicopter at all, sadly. Uh, very difficult sometimes to point yourself in the right direction. Now, we're going to open up all the barrels. Because barrels have stuff in, apparently. And my god, guys, I don't need to tell you how hard this actually was um, aiming uh, with the 360 control pad. It was awful because the 360 control pad was had a terrible D-pad. You know, a lot of people say the 360 control pad is the best control pad ever made, blah, 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 blah. I Really? Are you sure? I mean, it was good, but it had some glaring issues, man. Uh, we're out of ammo, so let's go swipe this up. Yeah, it had for me, it had some really big issues. Um, I did really like the control pad, but the D-pad itself was uh, really piss poor. 
Um, there are some people that prefer the 360 controller as well to the Xbox One control pad. I actually really like the Xbox One control pad. Um, I go back and forth quite often to what I prefer more, the DualShock 4 or the 360 pad, uh, or the Xbox One pad, sorry. It's difficult because, I don't know, I, hmm, I like the share button and I like the touch pad and all that kind of stuff, but the, the DualShock 4, the battery life on that thing really blows. Um, and I think it doesn't help that my DualShock 4s, the batteries have started to die on them. So they only actually last about five hours. At uh, five hours, about three hours each, which is really crap. Uh, not too bad for me, because I don't really get that much time to game. But yeah, very disappointing. But I mean, I suppose you could just put a new battery in it. Oh, wait, no, you can't. But the Xbox 360, uh, the Xbox, why do I keep saying 360? For the Xbox control pads, you can just replace the batteries. And for some reason, people think this is a bad thing. I don't know why. I don't know why. I really don't. The fact that you can take batteries out and put your own batteries in, so you never have to worry about the batteries dying in the control pad, and then having to strip it down and replacing the batteries, or buying a new one oh, I don't know people man okay oh god one of my DualShock 3 control pads barely holds a charge for more than an hour uh, yeah I you know I what I'd rather have I'd rather have double A's that I can just recharge oh yeah really hard to aim at these things but that's fine 55 armor that ain't gonna fly let's go get patched up Luckily, there's loads of armor around on this mission. Uh, the, they are fairly generous, um, but you are very, very, very squishy, as you can imagine. And I'm still not sure how much I actually like these on-foot missions, to be honest. You can hear the uh, sound effects for the boots that are disappearing. All right, it's creep, 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 creep. There's a gun camera right in the corner there. Oh, he only takes one missile. That's interesting. I thought they took two. Ah, nice. Now, if I think if we actually go down here, it will trigger a load of enemies spawning. Or well, some of them do anyway, which uh, kind of, I guess, signifies the fact that you've been spotted by the camera, so they're going to uh, shove loads of men up your ass. Um, but we don't have to worry too much about that anyway. The men are really weak. They really are. They're, they're pathetic. There's bigger threats than the enemy soldiers around here. Enemy soldiers are so feeble. Uh, and they're very stupid as well, as we've seen. You literally can just, like, hover. There we go. Now, I believe this... Okay. It's not what I wanted to do, actually. You could get a nice little chain reaction going off there. And that will also kill the enemy soldiers. That didn't happen this time because the game decided it wanted to lock onto the actual soldiers, which have never had <laughs> happened there before. It always uh, hits the barrels. So that was weird, man. Let's play as Curse in full effect. I love the way these idiots just stare at you whilst you're shooting them. They're just like, Ugh, where are the bullets coming from, man? Oh, God. However, the gun cam there doesn't play around. Oh, God. Hello. Ace, guys. What's cracking? My skull, apparently. Ooh, and look. See how quickly we're out of ammo again. You can only hold 200 rounds for your machine gun, which really does go through pretty damn quick. Luckily, there's some more here. Ooh. Ooh. You sneaky little sausage. See that guy there? What the hell? You little bugger. Right. Oh, God. All right, not bad. Now, armor. Do we have any more armor? There's actually only two units. Look how much ammo there is. There's only two units of armor, though. And I think I'm actually going to go scoop some of that up. Just because it's bloody useful, yo. Uh, I don't like my armor getting too far low. As a infantry man. Because uh, you can die so freaking fast. It's not even funny. And we've got... No, we have not gone the wrong way. It's crazy, especially on the later missions, from what I can remember. You can get some really nasty um, emplacements that just shred you. Now, we're okay for ammo, but then there's ammo everywhere. Right, anyway, we're on to mission three. Agent, 
Keith Michaels, codename Maverick. <laughs> Maverick. Oh, God, is Goose Man here, too? Um, or Goose and Ice. Was he Iceman? I can't remember what he's called now, Top Gun. Oh, I suppose we're making another Top Gun. Hmm, interesting. Um, find Agent Maverick. He was wounded, setting the airstrike beacon. It's lost somewhere in the rig. Uh, locate him to get the code to arm the beacon. Aye, we can do that. Right, let's go dig his ass out of the fire. Uh, we don't want to go down there. There's just some ammo there. Ammo is good, but we have loads of ammo. We're good for ammo. We have pockets full of ammo. We are absolutely golden when it comes to bullets. Right, okay. Let's sneak up this way. You see? You see? There we go. The footsteps disappeared again. I'm not going crazy. Definitely is a thing that happens. Right, let's just blow up these uh, racks of missiles. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, armor. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ah, now, this trash can looking motherfucker there is actually like a stationary gun. And they're actually stronger than the gun cams. Um, they're nasty, and they're kind of everywhere as well, so we need to be careful about those things. Help! <laughs> I like that he's just, like, strapped to a chair, and there's nobody here. There's nobody here, man. Hello, right, buddy. You having a good time? I suppose you better go rescue him. <laughs> Look at that face. I'm sure glad you showed up. Set the A button on the airstrike beacon and get out. Don't worry about me. I know my way out. Well, I'm glad you do, buddy. I wasn't exactly going to go hold your hand all the way back. What do you think this is? Fable? Right. Uh, careful. 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 There we go. Let's just blow up all of these things. Keep the armor repair there. That's definitely going to come in useful. We've got plenty of armor for now. What about ammo? Ammo's okay. It really does run dry way too quickly, I think. When you're on foot. It's crazy. However... You know, it could be worse. It could be worse. Luckily, the um, your armor isn't too bad. Not on this mission, anyway. Luckily. Oh, God. There we go. How are you not dead, sir? There we go. Your blue armor is no match for my green armor. That's for sure. 185. Wow. Yeah, our armor's holding. Oh, shit. Pretty sturdy. Yeah, I don't know why the machine gun locks on, but our rockets are not locking on. Don't ask me. I have no idea. There we go. Right. Now, we have gun turrets out the ass here, so we need to be really careful. These things, I think they only do two damage per shot. Yeah, we'll grab that. They only do two damage per shot, but see how quickly they fire. They rip you to pieces. They're not nice. Come on. Luckily, they don't have a lot of armor, and I think most things when you're on foot don't have a lot of armor. These two are just talking. Really? You're just having a conversation? I just blew your mate away. It's like filled him full of holes. No shit's given, huh? <laughs> you, oh, God. You got to love it, guys. You got to. Oh, God. That is a terrible angle. Ah, look at our armor being shredded. Yes, we got it. Okay, we can actually shoot that one, even though he's off camera there slightly. Now we... Ooh, okay, did that hit us? I think it did. Kind of hard to tell when something hits you on this. Right, let's destroy this bloody trash can. Come on, there we go. Taking out the trash. One can at a time. Come on, come on. There we go. I think there's more of them, though. We're really blowing through our ammo again. Oof. Yeah, that hurts. Maybe they do more than two damage per shot. I don't know. These things suck. Isn't it weird that these things actually do more damage than the guns? Uh, the gun cameras. Right, let's grab up this armor, I suppose. And there's the beacon that he dropped. And they just left it there. It's fine. Now, our bomb. Uh, tell our bombers your location. We're going to push A. We have 120 seconds to get out of it. I think if you push the wrong button, you die. Uh, instantly, it's like an instant game over event because you know how shri uh, the strike games love those. All right, let's sneak all the freaking way back. We have two minutes before this place is going to get vaporized. Uh, I don't know what's up there. I think there's um, 
loads of weapon well not weapons but i think there's like loads of missiles and stuff up there that you can destroy we don't need them so we're just gonna get our ass out of here as quick as we can there might be an extra life up there but i'm i'm pretty sure there isn't um it's been a long time since i've actually had a look up there maybe i should have done that off camera actually but for some reason i thought uh, i actually totally forgot about that but what's our weapons like yeah we'll grab ammo we we'll grab ammo just because now there's a couple more turrets that spring up which is really sly and some more blue dudes as well as a turret right down here there it is look at that it can shoot us even though we're off camera but luckily we can shoot it back so that's fine um armor is well armor's not too bad I guess we'll leave that there we can always come back for it if we need it okay Oh, we might need it. Yeah, we might need it. God damn it. Now, I hate going back on this mission because I'm always thinking to myself, well, that timer, that timer's ticking down and we grab all of the stuff here. Whilst we're here, I mean, why not, right? Oh, God, you little shit stain. He just literally appeared behind us like a demon in the night. Well, he's dead now. I don't know why these guys aren't... Um, kind of more worried about getting out of here they must know there's an airstrike on the way surely i mean maybe not i guess but they seem to be uh quite happy to fight to the last man typical terrorists i suppose are they terrorists yes they're terrorists of course they're terrorists what would they be freedom fighters hmm i suppose terrorist and freedom fighter is kind of the same thing okay depending on your perspective Okay, run. Yep. Oh, man, that hurts. Man, that hurts. Okay, we're hitting it, but it's hitting us. You didn't... What? What? You didn't... Oh, th did we take too long? Did we take too long? Are you kidding? Because we went back for the armor. Yeah, the time really is that tight. All right, guys, one second. I guess one thing about having a redo is we can have a little poke around up here and see if there's any goodies. Ah, okay. So there's literally like an armor and um, ammo stashed away up here, which, you know, I suppose we'll grab it because we ain't going to have time to come back and grab it in a minute, are we? Because, hey, the place goes boom. Right, let's try and get out of here again, shall we? Let's uh, have a little bit less failure. Now, I did say I'm going to keep all of my failures in. Um, so that's why I'm not editing them out. We're not going to be having any perfect runs or anything like that. If I die in a mission, I die in a mission. Um, okay, so let's keep creeping on down. I think we're okay until we get to about halfway back. And then the shit really hits the fan. Uh, armor is fine. Uh, ammo is not great, is it? Could use some more missiles, I suppose. But I think we're just kind of going to donkey rush out the door as much as we can. Yep, we're just going to waste this guy. Grab some more missiles on the way. And run! Remember your training and you will break it out alive. Just keep running. 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 Yeah, those machine guns are what really freaking hurt. I, I'm very tempted to go scoop that armor up over there. But I don't think we're going to have time to do so. All right, well, somehow we managed to, like, totally eviscerate that gun. Uh, not that you can actually eviscer eviscerate an inanimate object. But, hey, hey, just just go with it. Just go with it, for fuck's sake. Now, let's just head down here. See how much time we've got. We've still got, like, a minute. I don't know how we failed. Yeah, we've completed everything now. I don't know how we failed, guys. Honestly, I really don't. Um, oh, we're low on armor, and there's definitely some gun turrets down here. There's at least one more. No, no, we're okay. Okay, there we go. Mission 4 complete. Now, what's nerve-wracking is <laughs> sometimes that actually takes a while to trigger, and you're standing there practically with your dick in your hand thinking, come on, man, time's ticking, time's ticking. But there we go, guys. That's the third mission done. Underground oil rig. 
Um, yeah, disappointed that I actually had a death there. <laughs> uh, well, not necessarily a death, but a game over there. Not really sure how I accomplished that. I'm going to say we ran out of time, but that felt like our time just drained out way too quickly. Not sure. Because um, it said we didn't accomplish all of our missions, and we did. We just, you know, we didn't escape, which I guess was the most important mission. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.